Basic Use of Half-Face Respirators. Hi friends. I'm going to tell you how to safely use a fit-tested half-face silicone respirator with cartridges appropriate for everything hazardous that we use in the dye shop. This is what my respirator looks like. I keep it in a Ziploc bag with my name on it to keep it separate from everybody else's respirators that look just like this. This is actually probably the fifth one of these bags that I've had because they get old and then you throw them away and you replace them with a new one. I keep my respirator in here without cartridges and that's because we store our cartridges separately. These are organic vapor acid gas cartridges. They filter every type of substance that we stock that is hazardous, and they also have these purple particulate caps on them. Now, this plastic bag has not just my name, but I don't know if you can see here, there's the time that these cartridges have been used. And this is actually my third bag because I usually use these for about 15 minutes. And then I add that 15 minutes and I get down to the end of the bag and I need a whole new one. And I add up my time, which is what I've done here. I have used these cartridges for a total of seven hours and 45 minutes. The policy at Playmakers is to throw these cartridges away after eight hours of usage. So I really only have one more time to use these before I'm going to chuck them and need to replace them. Now they're kept separate in a sealed Ziploc bag so that they're not out here in the air with wind and breeze blowing through them. Because as you exhale and inhale through the cartridges, they're filtering matter from the air. And even if you're not in a hazardous environment where there are fumes or or droplets in the air, they're still getting clogged with debris and dust that's just in the air normally, that's not necessarily toxic, but is there. So you try to minimize the amount of exposure that your cartridges have to the air by storing them in sealed Ziploc bags separate from your respirator. Store your respirators and cartridges in a designated personal protective equipment cabinet, along with other supplies like nitrile gloves in a range of sizes, alcohol cleaning pads for silicone respirators, disposable particle masks, and so forth. Get these out of the PPE cabinet and take your cartridges and install them, screw them onto your respirator before you go into the dye shop, which you will close off and have the, the ventilators on. But you don't want to take these into that dye area to install them, to take them on and off because once you've used the toxic dye stuff or color, color remover is what we would be using. Once you've done that, then those fumes are in the air and they're getting extracted, but you might wanna take your respirator off right then because you've been in it for a while over a hot dye vat and put it back in your bag, but all your stuff is in that room. So you take it off in there and now you're breathing the fumes that are in there. So make sure that you leave that stuff out, taking it on and off. What is the correct way to, now that we've got our cartridges on here and they're screwed down tightly, but they're not really heaved on there. We don't wanna strip the threads of the attachment point. So the respirator has a head strap that goes behind your head and a neck strap that goes behind your neck. So the first thing that you do is take your neck strap and hook it behind your neck so that if you take your respirator down as soon as you come out, it's hanging around your neck like this. Then you take the head strap <laughs> Position it up over your face. Pull this head strap up and then adjust it to be as tight as possible without discomfort. Well, my voice sounds like Darth Vader now. Cover these holes and suck in. It makes a suction. The seal is intact. 
if you cover that and you exhale, you should feel this inflate, but not blow air out. That's how you test the seal. When you take it off, you don't ever want to walk around with it on your head like this. It looks stupid for one thing, but more importantly, it's dangerous because these caps of the filters may have dangerous condensation or particulate matter attached that would fall down into your face possibly. Now that I've used this respirator, let's say, and come out of the dye shop. I want to put these away. So I take them off first thing, put them in my bag and fill out the time amount that I had used them for. And then before I put this into its plastic bag and put it all back in the PPE cabinet, there are respirator cleaning cloths. They're little alcohol pads that you wanna wipe out every part of the mask where it was up against your skin. So I've wiped this out <clears throat> and now I'm placing it back in the bag. Zipping it up. And both of these are going back in the PPE cabinet to be stored until I need them again. Now you should understand how to safely install cartridges and wear your respirator, as well as take it off and store it. You're gonna have to use respirators someday if you continue to do costume craft work with substances that might be harmful. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for notification of new content and join me every Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern for my live studio stream.